In terms of teacher assigned tasks, it should come as no shock to a parent that work is being assigned. Uh, there should be a good level of understanding as to what has to be achieved. Um, and then there is a tremendous opportunity as well to let your child be the one that guides you through it. Uh, we must appreciate that they are very comfortable with technology, but at the same time they're not masters of it. And often their level of understanding will increase by doing. So rather than you saying, oh, I need to set this up, I need to input the passwords, I need to guide you through everything, see can your child do it, can they guide you through it? And that increases their level of understanding as well. So in your engagement with your children, you're, you may find that your child will respond far better and increase their understanding by looking at a video. It could be by listening to a sound file. It could, by, could be by engaging with um, interactive content presented on a website. And that's the added advantage are some of the main things that you as a parent might be able to look out for. One of the pitfalls of doing research online for kids in particular is that once they find an article, all I have to do is copy and paste and then I present that as homework, but there's no engagement with it. As well as that, I suppose we need to be careful that um, students respect uh, copyright. Yeah. Not everything that, everything that is up there uh, is free to use and certainly it's not something that they can ever repurpose as their own. They should get used to attributing the source of their information or the source of their images or videos or sounds from the outset.